explain a little bit of what we found here after taking this motor apart. Try to move it. Let's see if we can get it on. Obviously. So the car started when you would crank it up and push the clutch, the belt would start squeaking. And we noticed that the harmonic balancer was moving in and out. So we just yanked the motor out and started to look at the the thrust bearing and we found the issue. I don't know if you can see this in the video that's recording with my cell phone, but the crankshaft's all chewed up and the, here's what happened to the bearing. This is the bad side. This is what it should look like. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. So it, it chewed it all up. Uh, we're about to take the motor back to the back to the machine shop and see if they find anything else, you know, funny with it. And obviously this stuff will be replaced that that has to, but we got the motor out of the car, taken down, still gotta take the cylinder heads off. And uh we'll uh, give an update video when when we get the motor back. Yeah, the the crankshaft did touch the oil pump a little bit. The car Never lost oil pressure, and I, I don't think you can, you probably can't see how deep it is, but just barely touched the back side of the oil pump. And the, it didn't really mess the front of the crankshaft up. Obviously, the crank, crankshaft's junk, it's garbage, so. But yep, we'll, uh, we'll see what we come back with in a couple of days. All right, we put the, we'll put the main cap back on. We'll try to catch on video how much play this crankshaft has. Let's look at this. That is not normal. <laughs> this motor right here is the the motor out of the the blue car that's on the the other videos in the channel. And it belongs to Jeremy. This is the other car behind the hoist. It's on the channel. So just to clarify which car is which. But uh, we'll get back with y'all when we get the engine back. And we'll tell you what all was screwed up to. Alright, so we got the cylinder heads off. And uh, everything so far looks good but the crankshaft. But uh, we're, we're going to go over the motor a little bit with you. Um, you want to explain it a little bit? Yeah, so what it is, it's a uh, it's a stock stroke 4.6 that's bored 20 over and it's a it's a MMR H-beam rods and um, mainly pistons that's been notched and uh, a stock crankshaft, it's a, it's a stock 6 bolt crankshaft Yeah, 6 bolt crankshaft and the, uh, the car made a little over 700 on this crankshaft. And I believe when we go back to the machine work and having it balanced again, I believe we're going to go ahead and just put a, uh, a forged crankshaft in it and be done. Yeah, we, we looked up a couple of things that what caused the, the thrust bearing to, to screw up. And you see a bunch of stuff on an automatic. This was just a, this was a takeout crankshaft we had laying around when he built this motor. So we just threw it in here. We, we, all, we had it looked at at a machine shop and it came back and everything said it was fine. But, I mean, this motor's got, what, two, it's probably got 2,000 miles on this build and it, and it ate that rear bearing up. So, and this is a manual car, but it ate the bearing up. So, yeah, it's all forged crankshaft time. We're trying to see how much power you can make on a stock budget build, you know, stock cast crankshaft, but. It would suck if the power actually killed the bearing, like deflection in the crankshaft, so it's just better safe than sorry. We gotta have the whole thing rebalanced when you pull the crankshaft out because the crankshaft junk, so might as well put a forged one back in it and not deal with the crap anymore. But that's about it on the little short block. Well, uh, we literally took this motor out today took the car back home took the motor back home and started taking it apart but uh yeah we'll we'll update everyone because this is we'll see if the machine shop comes back with something on on what they think caused the problem i can't move this stupid thing with one hand but 
yeah for what caused the problem it'd be cool to try to find out you can kind of find a bunch of videos of people having this issue but no one can actually tell you why you know ballooning torque converter and stuff on an automatic, automatic.